Hello everyone, my name is Jax, and welcome back to 5M Scripting with TypeScript. Today we are doing part 8 of this series, so if you have not watched the previous parts, please do so. In this video, we're going to use OxMySQL to communicate with our database, with our server, and we're also going to use the config to kind of specify roles and then make the script allow us to assign roles and check our role. So this page is OxMySQL GitHub. Um, if you want to know a little bit more about OxMySQL, there's a documentation on it. We're basically just going to download this as any other script and just install it. I already did this, so I'm not going to do it. But basically, if you download it, you basically just drag and drop the folder into your resources, but as I already have it, it's just going to ask me to replace it. Uh, so I'm not going to do that. But basically, if we go back over here, we really just want to start it in our config. So let's ensure aux mysql. And we actually need to have this above, like one of the first scripts that start. If anything, we can just put it up here and save our config. So that way we have our script at the bottom loading last after OxMySQL. Basically, the reason why we're doing this is because if this script loads and it tries to use OxMySQL functions, but OxMySQL loads after it, it won't be able to find those functions from that script. So you gotta load the functions and then load the script that uses those functions. That way they are able to talk to each other. So let's go ahead and save the config and restart our server. Oh, and these little red messages right here, basically all it's saying is that your server is not public, it's like private. So anytime you see system timeout, whatever, that means it's trying to put the server on the internet, but since it's local host, it can't. And the only way to do that would be the port forward and all this stuff but we're not gonna be doing that and we don't need to do that because since this is local host, it's pretty much a test server. So it's just gonna be us anyway in our server. So we have our OxMySQL loaded. And if we go back into the editor, uh, config editor, you'll see that I have this line right here. You actually do need to uh, use this. I do believe that there is a website that allows you to do this. Basically, you come to this, it's MySQL is sync documentation, but it's pretty much the same thing as Ox MySQL. It's a bit um, newer and the most recommended. This one is like severely out of date and is not used anymore. So this is the documentation and all I did was do quick setup and we're doing next, next, blah, blah, blah. We don't need any of this, but we're basically going to enter in this information. So we have user and database and we need to do user password host port and database. So let's get rid of all of this and let's do host and then let's do port and then password. There we go. So this is basically we're just gonna fill this information in. So for our database, I created one called server. And if I go ahead and remove this by dropping it, you can right click up here and do create new and then database and then name it whatever. So I'm gonna name it server. And then so in server, it's just an empty database. So we can leave that right now. We'll, we'll create the table later. So the database name is server. The username is root. Host is localhost. You can also put 127.0.0.1. The port is 3306 and the password is nothing because it's localhost, so we don't we don't need a password. And we should be able to see this. Here we go. The last thing that we need is char set. So basically we have the char set, which is at the end. We can 
like reorder this. But basically you fill in all your information and then you copy this line. You don't copy this line because we're using aux MySQL, but you're copying this line and it should look something like this. So for me, it's user root, password nothing, host localhost, port 3306, database is server, and then char set is the UTF-8 MB4. So once you have this called MySQL connection string, you can exit these two tabs and this one, the GitHub, and then we restart the server. But I already have it, so I don't need to restart it. So I'm just gonna continue. The script is right here, so I have it pulled up. We are going to use, we're gonna start with the config. So we're gonna use these three files, the config ts, config json, and server. In the config ts file, we are going to remove these, and we're gonna replace this with roles and then we're going to do a colon and do a string and two square brackets so this means that the roles is an array of strings and you'll see what i mean in a second so after we add this we don't need this file anymore because we're going to edit the config json because if we edit the interface whatever the interface is think of the interface as if it's a template for our config we have to follow the template in order for the config to 100 percent work so let's go to our config and we need to replace this with roles and you'll see that it needs to be in quotes so we have to put it in double quotes and then a colon and we have to do a square bracket and then in here we can define all of our roles i want admin moderator Oops, I need to put quotes around that. Moderator, and then we could just have user. So we have admin, moderator, and user as our roles. So now we don't need the config JSON anymore. So now in our server, we can finally get to the good part. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna make a function called add player. And then we're going to define source in here because we're going to take uh, the source player that's connecting and feed it through this function and then this function will basically add that player to the database so in order to do this we have to uh, define player as source and then we have to get the id of the player so for me i do const id and then the function to get the identifiers is get player identifiers and then we do player and for me i'm going to do the discord id so discord id will be id and then one if you want to know which number to put in here for like which id all you need to do is go to players well it's easier if you're connected but if you're not you can go to players click this tab right here view the past players and then i can see the discord 5m license license one and two of this player in this example we're going to do the discord ids so discord id is one and then for Ox MySQL, what I do is I make a variable called ox, and then I define it as global exports ox MySQL, and then that's it. So anytime I need to call and execute or query or anything like that, I call ox. And this basically just puts this information in for me, so I don't have to write this out. I can just type Ox and it'll automatically know that I mean global exports ox MySQL dot whatever. So if we wanted to find the user in the database, we would need to do ox execute and then in capital letters, a few words need to be capital letters. So the actions of what we're doing need to be capital. So in terms of like select from and then the table needs to be users and then where discord 
is question mark, so it doesn't know what Discord is going to be. And we're basically gonna put in square brackets that Discord ID is Discord ID. And then we're going to do result any followed by the equal greater hand sign and then a curly bracket. If we go down here a little bit, we're going to end the execute function with the curly bracket and a parenthesis so it doesn't error out on us. We're going to make an if statement saying that if there was anything found in the database. So if result dot length. So if there are no results, that's basically what this is. And we do need to make the table. We'll do that in a second. But basically, the table will be populated. So if the length is empty, like zero, there's no results. So then we need to insert the player into the database. So basically, we're going to do aux execute insert into the table. So users and then discord in parentheses with values. And then we need to do discord ID result any. But basically after it adds the player, um, we will have uh, a console log, but we need to add our if statement here. So now we can basically run this function, but I wanna run the function whenever the player connects. And I want it to find something and tell me the role of my player. So in order to do that, I want to automatically add the players that are connected to the server to the database. So in order to do that, we want to do, uh, we want to listen for an event player connecting. And player connecting is a default event. So anytime a player is literally connecting to your server, it's calling the player connecting event. So on is we're basically adding more to this event of what's gonna happen when players connect. So this automatically wants me to put parameters in here. Uh, you don't actually have to in this sense. So we just need to do it like a regular event. And all we need to define is source as global source. And then we need to feed source into add player. So now whenever I connect to the server, it'll take my player, which is source, feed it into the function. And then in the function, it'll take source, convert it to player, get the ID, specifically the Discord ID, and then it'll use OxMySQL to execute this line and this line to add me to the database. Well, this line to find if I'm in the database, and if I'm not, it'll add me. And then we can also do a check console log uh, player already in database, which will basically go directly to the server. So now we need to go ahead and do npm run build. So in our database, we have Heidi SQL. And if we want to make a table, we right click the database name, in this case, server. We're going to create a table. The name of the table is users. And what I want to add is the Discord column and discord column is a uh, string so it's words not just numbers so that's var car which is like characters basically the length is 50 characters um i like to put this as 255 just to increase it in some sense we can allow null that's fine and then we can press save we can also add another column called role and what we need to do in here is also var char. But now we can change the default. I want the default to be users or I mean, sorry, user. So that way, any player that gets added to the table is automatically set to role user. So if I try to insert a row, it'll automatically insert user by default under the role column, but not discord. Discord is not defined. And then let's go ahead and join our server, but first we do need to restart the script. So let's ensure my script so that it restarts. And now we can go ahead and join the server. So I'm connecting and let's see, see if it adds me to the database. So if I refresh up here, there we go. So this is my Discord ID 
and then my role as user. So that's basically how you add a player to the database. So that inserts me into the database. That is going to be all shown for this video. If you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe. I am very close to a thousand subscribers. It's actually insane. And, uh, and thank you all for watching. Goodbye.